Good morning students. Today I'm going to start a lesson that's quite long in grammar. It's, the lesson is uh, quite long because it contains quite a number of uh, things which will be easy to remember if you practice. Otherwise you are going to get all mixed up and jumbled up and if you think clear, listen properly to what I'm saying, see the points that I give you when you have to remember each uh, clause, each type of clause, what you should remember, that will help you. Otherwise, you are going to get totally mixed up. Okay. Now, I have already taught you all how to divide a sentence into main clause and subordinate clause. You have to always look out for the subordinator. Yes, 90% of the time or in fact 99% of the time there is a subordinate. Now, when you're dividing your sentence into main clause and subordinate clause, the most important, you have to remember two things. One is, the main clause is a part of the sentence which makes complete or perfect sense. Okay? And the subordinate clause is that part of the sentence which starts with the subordinator 99.9% .9 of the time. I did not say 100%. I repeat, 99.9% .9 of the time, the subordinate clause starts with the subordinator. There are very few and rare cases where you have a word before the subordinator and your subordinate clause starts from there. Now you say, how do I know whether that word is part of the main clause or subordinate clause? That's by looking at the main clause. You have to look at the main clause first and see that the sentence is complete. Once a sentence is complete and there is an extra word coming there, that will automatically go into the subordinate clause. It may be just one word before the subordinate. Clear? Okay. Now, even if you don't understand as I'm saying, I've already taught you, you should understand. But still, as I'm doing, I will be giving you all many examples. I will be teaching you all many examples, different types, different situations. Listen and understand properly, of course. I myself am finding this a little difficult because I do it on the board and it's very easy. It's much more easier to teach on the board because I'm doing it in front of you all. And this I, I have to type it and then just explain which is much more difficult. So please bear with me when I'm finding this difficult. I'm not comfortable in teaching in this way. Okay. So now there are three types of subordinate clauses. They are the noun clause. You ask the question, what? When you're talking of a noun clause, this is very, very important. And I've also told you all before, when you're thinking of a noun, you always think of the question, what? And you can think of somebody or something when you're thinking of a noun. Okay, now. A noun clause is a group of words that contains a subject and a predicate of its own and does the work of a noun. It can be substituted with a pronoun. Means sometimes instead of the noun, there is a pronoun. Now, you, are, you won't understand as I go further, as I teach you each and every example. That's when you will, it will become clearer and clearer. Only thing here you have to remember is when you talk of noun clause, remember you have to ask the question what. Okay? An adjective clause is a group of words. Uh, okay, sorry. Next one is adjective clause. And here the questions you ask is which or who. An adjective clause is a group of words which contain a subject and a predicate of its own and does the work of an adjective. It is preceded by a noun or pronoun in the main clause. So, what is the work of an adjective to describe a noun or a pronoun? Correct? So, here what is saying in the main clause you will have a noun or a pronoun. In the main clause you will have a noun or a pronoun. And in your subordinate clause there will be more information or more description of that noun or pronoun. So what, what does an adjective do? Tells you more about a noun or a pronoun. So that's exactly what the subordinate clause is doing. So it's doing the work of an adjective. So it is called subordinate adjective clause. Okay. Next one, adverb clause. Adverb clause is a group of words which contain a subject and a predicate of its own and does the work of an adverb. Now, Adverbs are of nine types. Adverb clause. Adverb clause of time. Adverb clause of place. Adverb clause of reason. 
adverb clause of purpose, adverb clause of result, adverb clause of condition, adverb clause of manner, adverb clause of comparison. And the last one is adverb clause of concession, contrast or supposition. Okay, any of, uh, you can think of any of, write any of these three names. Okay, so now here you have, the main thing you have to study is a noun clause, adjective clause and adverb clause. But the adverb clause is of nine type. So you have noun clause, adjective clause and nine types of adverb clause. Okay. The question for uh, noun clause is what? The question for adjective clause is which? Oh, okay. Now let's go down. I have not given you questions for the adverb clauses because each one is different. So as we teach, I am teaching each one individually. There may be or there may not be a question. Okay. Now, first one, the noun clause. Here, remember the question is what? And the subordinators are what? that, how, whether, who. So what you have to do is, when you get a sentence, look out for the subordinator. Okay. So here, now let's look at this sentence. Don't look at the lower part. Just look at this. Now concentrate on what I am teaching. You don't look at anything else. The sentence is, everybody admits that he is a brave man. Okay. Now what is your subordinator? Anything is there? What, that, how, whether, yes. That is there. So you will circle this. Now generally I cannot do all this. I don't know how to do all this. But in when I teach in the class, I tell them to circle your subordinator. So you will circle this. Okay. Now this becomes like a divider. Generally and yeah, 90% of the time, not 100. 90% of the time your subordinator becomes a divider between the main clause and the subordinate clause. That means... From where your subordinator start, from there is your subordinate clause. So, this is your subordinate clause. Okay. So, what are you will do? Make a bracket like this. Bracket here and a bracket here. So, starting from your subordinator, your subordinate clause. Not afterwards. Including your subordinator. Okay. Now, this is your assuming. Okay. Now, to check. How to check that what you have marked is correct. Now, if this part is your, where is it? If this part is your subordinate clause, the rest of it has to be main clause. So, let's check now whether what you have marked is right. So, let's see. Everybody admits. Now, if you look at this sentence, everybody admits. What did I tell you? The main clause has to be absolutely complete. Yes? It should be a complete sentence. Now let's look at this. Everybody admits. Is it complete? No. It's not complete. So can you assume something to make it complete? Like everybody admits it. Yes, you will assume it. So everybody admits it. Yes, the sentence is complete. Now if you remove this, that he is a brave man and just say everybody admits it. It is a complete sentence by itself. Correct? So, there it qualifies to become a main clause. You just have to assume it over here. Clear? Yeah. So, now we will see. You write this. First step is everybody admits you will write that as your main clause. Now, you know this is subordinate clause. So, you will write here that he is a brave man and you write there subordinate clause. Now, which type of clause? How do you know which type of clause or how do you find out which type of clause? Now, what, what did I tell you to ask what? You ask what? What does everybody admit? Okay. Everybody admits something. Everybody admits something. Remember I told you something? So this whole thing, this whole bracket is your something. Now what is that something? What does the everybody admit? You have to ask this question. Are you getting the answer here? That he is a brave man, yes. So you got your answer, yes. So since it's giving you the answer to the question what, it is a subordinate noun clause. So you'll make a dash here. The dash is missing, just put a dash. So that he is a brave man, it is subordinate noun clause. 
clear let's go to the next example what you told me was a lie now what did i say search your subordinator so now if you see this sentence starts with the subordinator so that means your subordinate clause starts from here now if you start from here till where it, it will end where will your subordinate okay you put your bracket here circle this what and put a bracket here matlab subordinate star clause starts from here now but where does it end the whole sentence is there so what where does it end so can you find a part the rest of the sentence can you find a part which is complete was a lie okay was a lie is it complete no but if you put it was a lie is it complete you assume it was a lie is it complete yes so that means this is the main clause so first thing you do right here was a lie don't put it over there but that's it is for you okay to check your answer because main clause now rest of it is subordinate clause so you will write what you told me subordinate clause now what type of a clause what type of a subordinate clause so here where do you ask the question in the main clause you will ask the question in the main clause so can you say what was a lie ask the question what what is the question you have to ask what so what was a lie what you told me what your answer yes so now it is subordinate noun clause okay let's do the next one the third one his knowledge that he was guilty made him a coward again you search for a subordinate which is a subordinate that okay now yours i told you you assume from that your subordinate clause starts to so circle the that make and open the bracket so your subordinate clause starts from here but now where will it end you are not sure where will it end so okay just leave it just open the bracket here and now look out for the main clause you cannot understand look out for the main clause so you know you have to find something that is complete so what is left over here his knowledge his knowledge does it make complete sense no so okay so to help it to make complete sense can you add it no his knowledge it no so that means we need something more to complete this main clause so let's take something from the end his knowledge a coward no yes here yeah? his knowledge is here you have to pick this you have to join something to make it complete his knowledge him a coward no his knowledge made him a coward is it complete ah yes so his knowledge made him a coward is complete his knowledge made him a coward is complete now what remains you have already marked from here so that means you will close your bracket over here so his knowledge made him a coward complete sense so write it his knowledge made him a coward main clause now look at the subordinate clause that he was guilty so you write over here that he was guilty and write the subordinate clause now to find out which clause what did they, where did i say ask which question what where will you ask this question to the main clause so look at here the main clause his knowledge made him a coward now what knowledge made him a coward knowledge of what yes knowledge of what what made him a coward yes are you getting the answer that he was guilty yes so that means this is a subordinate noun clause because it answers your question what next one i expect that i shall get a prize so again you have your subordinate subordinator that open your bracket here so you know for sure that mostly this part is your main clause so let's look if it's complete first i expect can you add it over here i expect it yes it's complete so you just write here i expect main clause rest of it that i shall get a prize subordinate clause now you know which is main and which is subordinate now only you have to find out which type of subordinate so again you will ask the question what do i expect what do you expect that i shall get a prize that i shall get a prize so you expect that there sh i shall get a prize okay now this all i have given you to do you as a homework if you cannot do you will ask me okay i there are a little bit which i have put a little in fact 
Now, I'm not able to teach you properly, so I've done most of the difficult ones. Otherwise, I used to keep one or two tricky ones for the children to think and do. Yes? Now, let's see. The fifth one I will read, he said, they would go out together. I fear that I shall fail. I went to see what had happened. I don't see how you can get out of this mess. It is uncertain whether he will come. No one knows who he is. Okay, now this fifth one, I will give you a clue. He said they would go out together. Where is your subordinator? Mm -hmm. It's not there, it's missing. So, it's hiding somewhere. So, you're going to find it. Find out where it is hiding. Where can you add that? Okay, can you say he that said? No, he said that. Yes, so he said that they would go out together. What they have done is they purposely he did not remove the subordinate. So now you will assume the subordinator over here. Okay. So he said that they would go out together. So now you know your subordinate first starts from here. But that is not there. So you have started from here. Now look at the main clause. He said. He said it. What will you assume? He said it. So is it complete? Yes. He said it. Main clause. They would go out together. Subordinate clause. Now which type of clause? Ask the question, what? What did he say? What did he say? That they would go out together. You're getting your answer? Yes. So it is subordinate noun clause. Clear? Now let's go to adjective clause. Adjective, adjective clause, I've already partly explained it to you. You have to realize and remember what an adjective is. Clear? Okay. Now let's start. Next, divide into main clause and subordinate clause. Your main clause, you have to remember, should be complete. Or maybe unless if you have to assume it over there. If it's not complete even with it, you will see the rest of the sentence where you can add to your main clause and make it complete. Clear? So, noun clause and adjective clause is clear. So, do it. If you have any difficulty, you can message. Okay? Thank you and do have a good day. Write this in your grammar notebook. Okay? Do the homework. Thank you.